हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ल्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हैंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स Today's demo video is on the Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce plugin in which I will demonstrate how to set up the plugin. You can check and download the plugin from the video's description or for any doubt you can put your queries in the comment section. Before proceeding with the plugin setup part, let's understand what is Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce plugin and what does it do. The Event Tickets for WooCommerce is an all-in-one solution designed to help you create a seamless events and ticketing experience directly on your WooCommerce store. This plugin enables merchants to easily sell tickets online and manage events without relying on third-party services, making it a cost-effective choice for the event-based business. The plugin enhances the customer experience by providing secure scannable barcodes for tickets and allows admins to track check-ins using the event calendar. It also supports short codes for displaying events and easily check-in validation via email, ensuring a smooth event management experience for both for both the admin and their customers. We are on the WordPress dashboard and today in this video we are going to discuss the free features of Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce plugin. So before we move to the plugin setup part, if you really like watching the plugin setup videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like and share the video. So let us quickly see how we can easily install the plugin. So for installing the plugin, you can go to plugins and here you can click on add new plugin. And here you can search for Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce plugin. So this is the plugin that is Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce plugin. So from here you can click on install now and you can click on activate. So I've already installed the plugin and clicked on activated, uh, clicked on activate plugin. So already I have installed and activated the plugin. So once you have installed and activated, so you just need to go over on WP Swings and click on event tickets manager for WooCommerce to see the backend settings of this plugin. So we are on the backend settings and in this video we are going to discuss like in the general settings what are the settings included in the free version and ticket settings integration pdf ticket layout settings and how to create an event website or how you can create an event product so firstly uh, in this general settings you have got these uh, four fields that is enable disable enable event location site include barcode in ticket and short code for event listing so uh, from the front end when you will go to the front end and let me disable this functionality so we are on the shop page and as you can see that this was a event uh, like product but here as you can see that it is acting like a normal product because from the back end the event functionality has been disabled so let me enable it from the back end and if the admin wants to enable the event location site that means if the admin wants to show the event location on google Maps, so from here uh, from here the admin can easily enable this and he needs to go to this integration tab and here he can enter the google api key so for getting the api key you can click on visit uh, you can click on this and here is here this is a guide how you can easily generate a google map api key so once you have got the api key then you need to enable maps javascript api and geocoding api in order to get the map in order to get the google maps functionality so once you have got this so you can enter it here and click on save then you can go to general settings and here you can enable this functionality so let me click on save and now let me go to shop page now you can see that it is acting like a full fledged event product because here you can here as you can see that the timings and the location and the date it is showing here and along with the map it is showing here because from the back end we have enabled this functionality to show the event location uh, for the customers so this is how you can enable or disable this functionality Next is if the admin wants to include barcode in the ticket so from here you can enable this functionality and if the admin don't wants to uh, if the admin uh, don't want to show the barcode in the ticket so from here you can disable this functionality and then he can go to pdf ticket layout settings so let me go to pdf ticket layout settings so in this free version we provide three templates as you can see that here that is zenith vertigo and nexus and rest other templates are available in the pro version plugin so from here you can easily see the 
like PDF ticket preview so like how your ticket will look so from here from here you can select this so I have selected like this uh, template uh, for the PDF ticket layout so I've selected this and for the design part so it is available in the pro version plugin so from there you can easily design the templates as per your requirements so once you have uh, selected this layout so let us again go back to the general settings so before I explain you how to place the order for the events so let me explain you like if the admin wants to list the events on any of the page so he just need to copy the short code and let us uh, add new page and here let me use this short code and let me click on publish and let me click on view page so as you can see that all the events have been listed in this particular page with the help of this short code so this is how the admin can easily use this short code to list all the event on any page with search filter rest all the features are included in the premium version plugin so soon i will be coming up with the premium version video so stay tuned with the video so that so stay tuned with the video so let us move to shop page and let me place any order for any event and let me place the order and add this to the cart and let me place the order so the order has been received so from the back end let us complete the order because when i will go to my account and here when i will click on my event so now for the previous uh, order that we have placed so that is showing here so let me complete the order then the event that we have purchased just now will show here so this is the uh, so this is the event that we have purchased just now so let me click on this action uh, number 246 and here let me and here let me view so as you can see that uh, the uh, the so as you can see that the template that we have selected is coming here and the ticket code we have not enabled so that why it is not showing here and the format that we have selected and the details that we have uh, written so it is coming here so this is how the customer can easily see that uh, pdf and if they wants to download so they can e so they can easily download the pdf of the ticket by simply click on uh, by simply clicking on this so this is how the customers can easily purchase the events from your website and view their tickets and download the tickets if they want so let us again go back to the backend settings so now let us go to ticket settings so from here if the admin wants to uh, customize the event ticket email subject so from here you can use the email subject line and here the admin can also use the short code site name uh, if the admin wants to show the site name and here he can decide the uh, event pdf body content from here and if the admin wants to upload the default uh, upload default logo for their business so from here you can easily upload that like i have uploaded like this and here you can easily decide the ticket background color ticket header text color ticket body text color so from here we have provided various options so that he can easily customize as per his requirements so this is how you can easily customize your event tickets email subject pdf body content and you can also upload the default logo and here you can decide the background color uh, ticket body text color ticket header text color so let me customize this like i want to like in the i like i want to uh, like customize the event pdf body content as and here this is the logo and like, let me decide the background color for the ticket and here let me decide the uh, header text color and here uh, let me decide the ticket body text color so this is how i have i have customized this and now let me click on save so this is how uh, you can customize the ticket background color ticket header text color and ticket body text color and whatever the whatever the whatever the body content uh, whatever the pdf body content you will write here so that will be shown in the pdf so this is how you can easily customize the background color of your ticket ticket header and ticket body and here you can also write the pdf body content that will be shown uh, that will be shown in the uh, ticket so let me show you how this content will look like so here as you can see that whatever the uh, content that I have written it is coming here so this is how you can easily customize in the ticket settings like what will be the event ticket email subject body content default logo background color text color and text color of the ticket body and ticket header and this uh, functionality is available in our pro version plugin that means uh, you can also enter the content to send in SMS with ticket so this was all about the ticket settings and already I have explained you about the integrations and PDF ticket layout settings. 
so let me go to product section and explain you how to create an event product we are on the product section and here let me click on any of the product and let me click on edit so here uh, you just need to uh, so here you can uh, type the name of the event that you want to create and then you have to scroll down and here you need to select the product data as events so when you will not click on events so this uh, this product will not act as a event product so make sure you have clicked on events and then you can decide the general price of this uh, like event product and here you can go to event section here you can decide the start and date time of your event and here you can decide the end time so here let me decide like september 5 and here it should end uh, in uh, november 29 and here i have decided the venue as new york and here it it automatically fetch the location latitude and longitude as soon as you have entered the venue name and if you want to remove or hide the product uh, so you can click on this so whenever the event get expired so automatically the product will be removed or hidden next if you want to disable the charge so from here you can enable this and if you want to display the event on google map for this particular product so from here you can enable this so on the google map the event will be shown uh, for that particular location that you have entered so like i have entered a uh, venue like this so i have entered the venue as agra and here you can add custom fields on the tickets for this events like if the admin wants to add like uh, if the admin wants to know the information for that particular customer like who is booking the event like here i have uh, entered like age email and if i want to like give this name and here should be text area and here i have written like it is required so as soon as i have clicked on uh, required so these fields will be become mandatory and without filling these the admin uh, the customer cannot place the e cannot place the order for the event like i have made all these three fields mandatory so let me click on update so as you can see that the place that we have decided or the venue that we have decided it is showing on the google map and the date start and end time uh, start and end date it is showing here so whatever we have selected and here as you can see that the customer is mandated to fill fill out these fields in order to place this order for the event like when i will click on add to cart so as you can see that the disclaimer is coming as please fill out this field so this is coming because we have made uh, this fields mandatory to be filled by the customer from the back end so let us again go back and here when i will go to events and here let me remove this uh, like mandatory uh, option so here let me uh, remove this required field and let me click on update and now let me refresh this so now without filling in the details the customer can uh, proceed to add to cart so the product has been added to your cart so this is how you can easily create the event product and customize the settings as per your requirements so let us again go back to the backend settings so this was all about how you can easily create the event tickets website easily and you can create event product and customize the ticket settings and pdf ticket layout settings as per your requirements this was all about the event tickets manager for woocommerce free plugin the links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description you can check and get all the details for any doubt contact us anytime and we will be glad to help you and if you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionalities so you can mention your queries in the comment section and if you are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest update related to our channel. Until the next video, stay connected with us. Thank you.